Hi everyone, my name is Jason and I want to show you quickly how to connect Windsurf through an MCP uh, model context protocol server to a local Neo4j database. All right, so the first thing you're going to need to do is spin up a local instance of Neo4j. So here I've got desktop up and running, so and I've got a copy of an old movies database. So I'm going to spin that up and I'll just open it up real quickly and double check we've got some information in here. Okay, so the local instance is up and running and I'll just double check that there's actually information in here. Okay, great. So we've got some movie data in here. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spin up Windsurf and add some configuration in here. So my wonderful colleagues, uh, Michael and ABK have built this uh, Neo4j MCP server already. And I'll post a link in the uh, details here. Um, and there are three servers here that they've built. One is for um, uh, interfacing with Cypher, uh, one for uh, knowledge graph memory, and, and the last one is for managing a, or a cloud instance. Okay, so the one I'm just gonna focus on is the Neo4j Cypher uh, server first. So you can see here in the readme, there is a configuration already for running a local instance, um, originally intended for Claude, but Windsurf takes the same configuration um, JSON format. So you can just copy this, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to open Windsurf. Okay, so I am just going to create a test folder somewhere here. And I'll just call it windsurf uh, neo4j. Okay, so to make this run, what you will do is you'll go up to windsurf settings and windsurf settings. And then you'll click on cascade. And here we're going to add a server. I'm going to add a custom server. And here we can paste that configuration file from, um, from before. Now this, so you don't actually have to download the server or the code um, yourself. This is referencing code that's already been posted up onto this repo. So this repo is maintained by the original creators over at Anthropic. And if the server code is here, then you can just post in the configuration here and it will pull that code and run it. So one thing to be aware of is this has been pre-formatted for Claude and Claude when it creates a MCP config file already comes with um, empty braces, but Windsurf uh, doesn't. So to make sure it's a valid JSON file, you're gonna have to add in the opening and closing braces here. Okay, so here I've got just a copy and paste of that earlier uh, file, <clears throat> except I've updated the password to ABCD1234. Okay, I can save this and then go back to Windsurf settings, click refresh, it will pull down and run that code. And we can see here the tools that are a part of that server are available. And we can compare with the docs here mentioning these tools. Okay, and that's it. So right now, I can go right to asking Cascade uh, inside Windsurf questions about my database, right? So for example, how many nodes are in my Neo4j database? Cool, so 28,863, and I can compare that or test that in the actual database. So yeah, we'll do it over here. So we'll return count in to 28,863. Okay, great, we got a match. Okay, so now that we're connected to the database, then I can ask Cascade to build code around that. So I'm gonna ask, I'm gonna kind of tell Cascade what the schema is, right? So what is the schema of my Neo4j database? Cool. Okay. So at first it used a, an older call and then it kind of it made use of the tool and discovered that the, we have these different node types, person, genre, movie, user. So now, now that it knows the schema of this database, I'm going to ask, um, you know, like create a fast API server that parses uh, a URL um, or parses the content from a URL 
and um, and what I wanted to parse is uh, uh, extract the entities matching the schema above and then upload new data to the Neo4j database. Okay, so I've uh, used up kind of my like free credits on WinServ. So instead of automatically creating the files, I'm gonna have to do some copy and paste, but that's perfectly fine. You can see here that it's generating a fast API, um, some fast API, uh, or creating a fast API server that um, on the surface looks like it will do what we're asking. Of course, I'll actually wanna run this and double check, but this is uh, a great way to kind of get started with building uh, additional tooling or you know, a demo project on top of Neo, Neo4j, specifically on any data that you might have already. Okay, all right, uh, hopefully that was useful. Good luck and uh, see you in the next one.